it might say that it's illogical, but, but when you look at the pattern of things, you realize that it's all logical, that it all comes together in this grand scheme of things that can only be divine, can only be godly. And it's awesome. Na, 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 na. It's a theme song. Today you will discover something so perfect it could never be of human invention. The Fibonacci sequence found in Nautilus shells. All things in nature follow the divine proportion of the golden ratio represented by the Greek symbol phi. The formula is a plus b divided by b is equal to b divided by a, which equals 1.61803, and there's a long series of numbers after that. If the lengths of the sides of a rectangle are in the golden ratio, then the rectangle is a golden rectangle. The golden rectangle can be indefinitely divided into smaller rectangles, which all converge at a point sometimes called the eye of God. If we connect the vertices in the diagram, we approximate a logarithmic spiral that envelopes the eye of God. Logarithmic spirals can be observed in images of galaxies. It's incredible to discover that the arms of spiral galaxies are the sites of active star formation. So, in the amazing logarithmic spiral is where stars are born. Now, the logarithmic spiral found in nautilus shells is a result of the way that the nautilus grows. It creates chambers as it grows, which are like flotation devices for it, and it gets bigger, so the flotation device has to get bigger, and so it's exponential growth. So a logarithmic spiral is a result of constant relative growth. What does this have to do with Fibonacci, though? In 1212, he published Liber Abacai, the Book of the Abacus, in which he introduced what is known as the Fibonacci sequence, which is 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, etc. Every number after the first two numbers equals the sum of the two numbers preceding it. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, etc. The numbers found in the Fibonacci sequence are repeated throughout nature. The spiral of seeds on sunflower heads, for example, follows Fibonacci numbers. If we apply the numbers in the sequence to the squares created by dividing a golden rectangle, the largest square having a side length of 13, we would find that connecting the vertices creates a logarithmic spiral just like the one we discussed. And we see that the logarithmic spiral and the Fibonacci spiral are one and the same. So, the logarithmic slash Fibonacci spiral that appears in a chambered nautilus expands one golden ratio during each whole turn. Everything is connected seamlessly. The numbers in the sequence follow the proportions of the squares in the golden rectangle, and the turns of the spiral follow the golden ratio, and so phi is expressed stunningly in the form of the smooth nautilus shells.